Renee, it is so fantastic to be here with you. I can't help but notice this beautiful mural behind us. I believe there was four different artists that created this together. We are so excited to have you as a part of this conversation because you bring a capacity for athletics being met with activism. The same thing is true for these artists. They took their personal perspectives on what it means to be heard, what it means to be denied a voice, and this extraordinary piece that they put together really shows the weaving together of multiple cultures with a single common belief, which is that the vote is how we get things done. No matter where you begin, no matter what you call at your culture, when we bring it together, that's how we make the world what we see. I love that. As someone who has watched you play, but also watched you get so engaged in politics, Tell me what drew you to Civics for the Culture? Why, why are you so committed to this work? You know, it was just seeing a need. Like I've never been so involved in politics. Honestly, I've been submerged in the athletic world. I wanted to have people see that what's happening, you can actually have control over it. A lot of people were thinking that things were gonna happen to them, that politics looks a certain way, should be a certain way. It's just not a thing that athletes have been involved in much. So we know that we have different people that don't necessarily want to hear what we have to say. So this year I kind of just went for it. And then I saw that I'm in the right place too. You know, what you've done, obviously you're a rock star to us, but what you've done in Fair Fight and everyone, it made it obtainable for me. It's the holiday season. We are in the midst of a runoff election that can change the future of America. We've got to get it done. The early voting starts December 14th. The final bell rings on January 5th. If you could give a gift for the future, a gift of change, what's the gift you want to ask for? Everybody to understand their power. You know, I think a lot of people think they're one vote and the many of votes doesn't count, but there is no election that, that would tell you that that's false more than this year. So I think everybody realizing that you have power in yourself, power in the pen, however you want to put it, but you have power to go and change things, so do it. You just gotta do it. You know, it's like, I think a lot of people, they're so hands off with, with politics in general. They're just like, God oh, doesn't affect me. I'm not into that. I've heard people tell me I'm not into politics, but I want to remind them, you may not be into politics, but politics is into you. Hello, thank you. It decides whether you make a minimum wage. It decides whether you get a stimulus check. It decides whether you get charged with a misdemeanor or a felony. It decides whether your parents get the kind of retirement they've earned. Politics sees us, even if we don't want to be seen. And the reality is if it wasn't so important, they wouldn't be working so hard to stop so press us. It. Come on now. <laughs> okay. What should voters be on the lookout for? Like, what should we be vigilant about? We've only gotten part of the job done. For progress to come, for us to get COVID relief, for us to get access to jobs, access to justice, for us to see the change we were voting for, we've got to make certain we've got a whole team. And so this election is about sending those last two members of the team to Washington, D.C. And so we need to be vigilant about one misinformation. You have the right to vote. If you are registered in the state of Georgia, you have the right to participate. You have the right to vote. Two, the election was not rigged. What we did was mitigate voter suppression. We made it easier for people who were eligible to vote to actually participate. That's called progress, and that's the only thing we should call it. But number three, we need people to know this is a short runway, that by January 5th, that is last call. It takes all of us to participate in the system, and we have to be vigilant about ignoring those telling us to be quiet. Our power is real, and our power must be heard. Ooh, wait a minute.